Hey everybody, welcome back to Motion Brain. Today I want to give you five tips for using Cinema 4D. Let's start with the first one. Create null objects. Null objects are very, very important. So let's try to get all three red cubes in one null object. So you can create a null object down here and drag all the three down. But you don't have to do it. Just select all the three objects, press Alt G, and you're done. You have created another object with just one shortcut. The second tip is delete unused materials. So I'm pretty sure most of your projects are looking like this, it is messy, you don't know which material you used, which not. And to clean it up, you just have to go on one material, right click and go to remove unused materials. You can also do it under function, remove unused materials. And to make your project more organized, we can create a new layer. So right click on one texture or material and press add to new layer. Double click on your new layer and call it red cubes. And now you can select all materials, the no layer materials or your red cubes materials. Tip number three is using protection tags. So if you want to lock an object because you, you don't want that the object is moving around by accident or something else, we will use the protection tag. So right click on one object, go to your Cinema 4D tags and use protection. And now you cannot move it around. Most of the time we will use the protection tags for our camera because if we get some, some perspective and we want to save it and most of the time we we'll forget to go out of the camera here by clicking on this icon and move it around and go back and say, oh my God, we moved the camera. We want to get it back, but you cannot get it back. We will save the camera. So we cannot move it around. We have to go out of the camera and then we can move. Tip number four, and please guys do it, use Auto save. It's very important to get this setup or to turn this setup on because if you're working and you didn't save your project in a while, you will be very, very happy if, if you use auto save. So turn it on under edit, preferences, files, auto save, and select this icon here save. Then you can play around with the setups here every five minutes, 10 copies and um, save your project directory. I like this setup because I've got everything in one folder and I don't like it to use other folders. And that's because I'm working maybe on more than two or three projects in, um, at the same time and I don't want to look around in other folders. And my last tip for today is set up your own layout. If you're very confident with Cinema 4D and you know what kind of tools you use very often, you can set up your layout. So go on the right um, on the space here right click customize palettes and then you will have everything cinema 4d has and 
if you know the name from some some objects or tools you can type it down here let's say we need the set selection set selection and drag it down on one space if you choose the wrong one like this you can delete it by double click on this icon and if you want to save this layout you have to do it before you quit Cinema 4D because if you don't save and you quit Cinema 4D your layout will be gone so go under window customization and save layout as I won't save it, but I'm gonna show you my layouts. I choose the tools which I like and I work with them very often, like the knife tool or the bridge. And um, yeah, if you're happy with my tutorials, share it with your friends. And um, thanks for watching.